Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe now and tap that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. So as you can see, today we're working on another black primed canvas. This is an 11 by 14, um, though you could paint this on any size canvas that you want. And I'm gonna do this all freehand like I always do. So I want you guys to just sit back and enjoy this or feel free to paint along. And I hope you get inspired today. So if you do, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know below, it really helps my channel. And give this video a like. So I'm just gonna go over some of the colors that we're using. I'll list them all below this video in the description. We've got titanium white, green gold, turquoise, light ultramarine blue, and some phthalo blue. Now, if you don't have all these colors, you can use any other variation of these ones and it'll still look pretty. You can also paint your flowers any color that you want, um, like purple or red or pink would look really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and just start to freehand the birdhouse. And I wanna put the birdhouse uh, sort of in the middle here, maybe just off centered a little bit towards the right. I'm gonna get my brush wet. I'm using a flat brush today. This is a number eight. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise. I'll just mix the two right up here. And I'll begin by doing a little line like that, a little rectangle, a little line a little diagonal line like that and then make that a little bit narrower. I'm going to use a little bit more white for that side. And then I'm going to go across and do a line there. And then do a skinny little peak little triangle on the top. Really easy. Just keep it really simple, guys. And then I'm just going to do another peak like that. down here on the other side so this is the other side of the birdhouse I'm just going to cut right underneath here for a shadow. And I'll cut right across the top. See, it's nice working on a black canvas because you can get that instant shadow just by pulling off some of that existing paint, exposing the dark underneath. And then we've got the roof. And we can just do these little lines. A little circle there. All right, little entryway. So 
just stumble around, sliding my brush up and down. And if you want it to look kind of like wood grain, you can just turn your brush flat like this, pull and drag. See, and then you're left with an interesting texture there. And you can also pull lines in as well. And then we'll just come around with our edging here, our trim work on the house. So it goes on an angle like that, and then goes out to here. You can do some lines this way too to make it look like there's some shingles and then a few little lines like this. I don't want to forget about this side, so I'm just going to line my brush up with a little bit of white. Dab, leave a space, dab, leave a space. So there's so many different ways of creating your roof line. And we'll add the leg or the post right here in just a moment. I just want to clean up some edges and come in and add a little bit more shadows. So I'm going to take, to create a dark shadow, I'm going to take my phthalo blue with a little bit of green gold. You can see what a gorgeous color that makes. I'm going to add it right here on this side. I'm going to do a little line down the center. And then I'm going to push and pull down there. Make it a little bit thicker. And then just a little pull and flick down there. We're going to have a shadow right in here too. A little something like that. And then inside. So we'll go outside with our pretty blue. We're going to go along the edge here.
and inside here again. Let's do that once more with a little bit more paint this time. And right along the edge. I'm just lining my flat brush up, pushing and kind of flicking up. Short little flicks. You get those little shadows in there. Come in and just deepen this, make this a little bit darker and thicker right there. And then right under here, I'm going to pull a little bit, a few little lines like that. Okay, I'm going to go back into my white and my turquoise again. And we'll begin working on the post. Add that line across there. Make that a little bit more even. And then right underneath. Look at all those pretty blues and greens we have in there. I'm going to take a little bit of white and lightly go over that. I'm going to go from the bottom, pull up. I don't want to press too hard because then I'll lose that sort of that wood sort of a look. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my phthalo. And deepen some of these little grooves we have here under these little shingles. And inside those ones. And then I have to take a bit of my white. Come along the side here. So it looks like they're layered and they're kind of overlapping, right? So we want to line these up. I'm going to soften that with a little bit of white. So I'm going to line it up. Back in for more white.
Going back in for more white again. Just going to use the corner of my brush. You might want to use a little liner brush for this. I'm just going to pull very lightly, pull in for like a few lines like this. And we can have a couple little cute little doors right here that open up. I'm going to grab a little bit more turquoise here. With my blue, go right underneath the roof line right here. And then come up around the circle there. Add an edge to these doors and just sort of outline them here. Go back for a little bit more of that halo in there. The halo and turquoise. Right there. I'm going to be adding some violet purple. You can use any purple that you want. And I'm going to just kind of mix that up with my blues. So I'm going to begin with a filbert brush. This is a number eight. I'm going to get it a little bit wet. And I'm going to begin with my green gold and a little bit of white. So we'll start creating some leaves. They're going to overlap, right? We want this to be wrapping around this birdhouse. Sometimes I'm going to take a little bit more of the green gold. I know this is going to dry a little bit darker. So I want there to be some deeper shades of green going on. And I don't even know what kind of leaves these are really. I'm just having fun with my brush. Just a little push and flick. Let off on the end of the brush. And we'll have some smaller ones and we'll overlap too. Just a little bit of white. A little bit of green gold. We want that overlapping look. You can have some that go all around the top here and they're just wrapping around, twisting all the way up to the top. We'll make this really whimsical looking.
Oh, that's fun. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go right, right back into my white, tint it with a little bit of the green gold. This time we're going to use a little bit more white than green. And I'm going to pick a few areas where I want to have some brighter highlights. So you're not going to paint the entire leaf, right? You're going to pick a few areas. So you have, you still have some shadows. Okay, and then just keep going around. following up all around there. And I'm using, you can use any liner brush. I've got a number two here. And I'm going to use the same green gold, a little bit of white, pull and twist my brush with some water in there too. And we'll start adding a fun twisty looking vine. Creating all those little twirls and little scrolls. Maybe we're going to have some that are a little bit darker. You just add a little bit of your phthalo blue to your green gold when you want to add a shadow like right there. Just so that it stands out a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to create a few little drips. I'm not going to have too, too many. So I've got my flat brush here. It's really saturated with water, lots of water. You want to get it really loaded up and drippy. Get some more water. I'm going to scoop it up and right away line it up where I want to have those drips. Maybe one right there, and one right there. You're just going to keep adding little dabs, kind of just pushing and letting it drip down. Now, because they're really, this paint is really, really watered down, it's like 90% water, 10% paint. When it dries, it's going to be much darker than this and uh, much more subdued. So it's not going to be overpowering a little bit like it is here. We're going to be left with uh, the brighter highlights on our leaves and our vine and, of course, our flowers. Now, we're, now all that's just... Dripping down the canvas, I'm going to go back over to my phthalo blue, and this time I'm going to pick up a little bit of that violet. I want to get in a really dark color in here, but not black. Just because I have so much black going on already, that for my shadows here, 
I just want to add blue and purple. Just back to my white a little bit right there. And right along the bottom of those little doors. I think I'm going to use my cat's tongue brush. This is a number eight. It's like a filbert. It's rounded, but also pointy at the end. So it makes for some really neat petals. So what we're going to do is push, roll, and twist and let off. So let's go into our light ultramarine blue. Look how pretty that is. Take a little bit of purple and a little bit of white. I don't want to mix it up too much. And I'm just going to start pulling, twisting. Pretty little purple flowers. Maybe I'll have, it kind of reminds me of clematis. Do that push, twist off. I'm gonna do a few more layers here. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit. And let's see, maybe we can add another one right in here. Use a little bit more purple here to make it darker so that it stands out. Against that post. right back to those colors again. You can even take a little bit of that phthalo as a purple, a little bit of white and blue, and maybe we'll have some smaller ones here. I didn't mean to make that one so long but this is probably a big brush that I'm using it I should maybe use a smaller brush if I want to make smaller flowers now I can take this off right away to get back to a smaller size and I want to create some drips so I'm going to really water this down like we did with the green. Maybe I'll add one right in there. I'm going to grab some white now really quickly. I've got all that water on there. to my white and that light blue again. And add another layer here over top. Well, that's had a little bit of time to dry.
I'm just got a bit of white. Just a little bit of white here. I'm going to add some little dabs of white inside these flowers. Just some little dabs here. There's some little indications of flower buds. Okay, so I'm going to call this one done, guys. I thought this was a really fun, quick and easy painting tutorial for you. You can add birds or butterflies or a hummingbird. Uh, just be creative and come up with your own version of this or follow along step by step to this one. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and seeing your versions of this up on my Facebook group. Take care, everybody. Happy painting, and I'll see you next time. Bye!